Right, so we have uh, some algebra to do, and the first three parts, look, have all got indices or powers in them. So let's deal with those. Now, I'm not going to write down all of the rules uh, in one go, but I will write them down as we need them. Now, uh, the first one, we are multiplying two numbers with the same base. What's the base? That's the big number, isn't it? And then the power is the little number. And the rule for that is that a to the p times a to the q is a to the p plus q. So when we multiply numbers with the same base, the same big number, we add the powers. So in this case, p squared times p to the 5 is p to the 2 plus 5, which is p to the 7. OK, uh, the next one we're actually dividing. And there's a very similar rule. Uh, and you should know this, a to the p divided by a to the q is a to the p minus q. So multiplication essentially becomes addition in the powers and division becomes subtraction in the powers. Quite easy to remember, I hope. And so this time we've got g to the 6 divided by g to the 4, and so we subtract the powers, g to the 6 minus 4, and 6 minus 4, is 2. So we've got g to the 2, or g squared. And then there's another rule. a to the power of p to the power of q, so we're not multiplying here, we're raising to another power, is, well, we do multiply the powers this time. So there we go. And let's apply that in this situation. k cubed squared is k to the 3 times 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. So that's k to the 6. Right, now we've done the powers, what's next? Uh, for part D, expand and simplify. Looks a little bit like two brackets, but there's a minus sign in the middle, so it's just two lots of one bracket. So for the first one, we do the whatever's outside, the 3 times the m, and then the 3 times the 4. And for the second one, we'll do the minus 2 times the 4m and the minus 2 times the 1. So just be a little bit careful here because of that minus sign. But the first one's easy. 3 times m is 3m. 3 times 4 is 12. And then I've got minus 2. Notice the minus sign. Minus 2 times 4m is minus 8m. And minus 2 times plus 1 is minus 2. I need to simplify, it says. So let's collect the like terms together. Let's look at the m's. What have I got? I've got uh, 3m minus 8m, so that's minus 5m. And then let's look at the number terms. I've got 12 minus 2, and 12 minus 2 is 10, plus 10, in fact. OK, so that is simplified as far as I can. And finally, they are asking me to factorize. Now, you will notice that this is, in fact, a quadratic. There's an n squared and an n, but there's no number term. So this is a two-term quadratic. And in fact, simple factorization is what we're after here. OK, the first term is n times n. The second term is 7 times n. And you can spot the common factor. There's an n uh, in each term. And so we take the n out of the bracket and write down whatever's left. That's n minus 7. And if you want to check that, you can, of course, multiply it out. n times n is n squared, and n times minus 7 is minus 7n. So it does work. And lots of little bits of algebra later, we're done.